Hi friends, I am back this week with another video for you. Um, happy fall, I am wearing my fall shirt. It says, what does it say? Pumpkin spice, please. It has a pumpkin and a coffee cup and a little heart, it's so cute. I have my little fall earrings in that my niece Jamie made. Um, Palmer clay earrings are where it's at, you guys. They feel like I'm wearing no earrings. They don't bother my ears. Love her earrings. Faith Clay Co. on Instagram if you are interested. Um, just a little shameless plug for my niece. Um, I have my uh, pumpkin chai tea here. And um, by the way, if you're if you're wondering how I'm making that at home, I uh, posted recently about this on my Instagram and people wanted to know. So um, it is the pumpkin spice Tazo chai tea from Target. And then um, I bought this on Amazon. It is pumpkin pie flavored sauce. So I just put a little bit of that, a little squeeze of that in my cup and a little splash of vanilla creamer and I'm good to go. It is despite all of the fall and I have pumpkins behind me. Are you proud of me? I am like ready for fall. It's my favorite. Um, despite the fall things all around me and me wearing the fall clothes, the weather is not agreeing with this uh, situation here and it is 105 degrees in Southern California today so um, we're pretending that it's fall because I have such fun news for you um, a simple autumn by brighter day press just released and I just got my copy of it in the mail I think on Friday and I am very excited to show you guys um, the inside of this in this video. Here it is, you guys. I am very excited about this. This is morning time plans, basically. Um, so, well, it's part of our morning time plans. And soon, as in like either the next week or the week after that, so it might be one or two weeks from now, one or two videos from now, um, I'm gonna share how we do morning time in our house um, as part of the homeschool collaboration that I do, this the show and tell one. Um, but today I thought I would just show you, since it is now autumn and you can order it, um, I thought I would show you this guide by uh, Whitney at Brighter Day Press. It is phenomenal and I'm so excited to start it. Um, we're finishing up something else for our morning time and then we're gonna dig into this and I am really excited. Um, I will leave a link um, below in the description box where you can um, click over to get it. Um, I am an affiliate with them. It does not cost you any extra to use my link, but it does benefit me. Um, however, I have been using um, these resources for a long time now and um, decided to search out affiliation with them. So. Um, I totally, if you look back in some videos, I totally recommended them before the affiliation happened. So without any other introduction, I am going to show you the inside of this lovely guide. Okay, so this camera never wants to fully cooperate with me as far as <laughs> having it be completely straight on. So I apologize about that but hopefully you guys can get a good look at what I'm uh, at this little guide. Okay, so it's a four week seasonal study for early learners. So um, she does recommend, um, let me see if it says, like up to eight, I think, but I have kids that are um, much older than that. In fact, um, Beth just turned 11. So we're using, we're planning to use this all together. My kids never turn down the chance to uh, be present when a picture book is being read. So um, no one is going to mind. So speaking of picture books, let me go ahead and show you the books that are on this list. I have all of them right here next to me um, and I'll show you a good 
view of all of them um, so you can kind of determine what you think you might use. Um, this is Goodbye Summer Hello Autumn. That one has come highly recommended on several picture book lists that I've seen lately. Um, Peter Rabbit and the Pumpkin Patch. These are not in the order that she's got them listed, by the way. Um, how do apples grow? That one I just had, so we'll not show that one. The Leaf Man. Um, my kids are very excited about this. The Scarecrow. This was another like on so many book lists this year. Um, tops and Bottoms. Possums Harvest Moon. Again, another highly recommended book, The Oxcart Man. I have read this one um, to Charlotte when it came in, Too Many Pumpkins. This is adorable, you guys. Um, I love that book. Sophie's Squash. From Seed to Pumpkin. Um, we bought this one last year, um, Pumpkin Jack. It's also on the Read Aloud Revival list. Um, this is great. This is a great like science and story uh, picture book. So if you don't have this one, definitely buy it. Um, Johnny Appleseed. This is not the one that's on this list, I don't think, but I'm, I'm guessing that a Johnny Appleseed book of, of any kind is going to be fine since we already had it. Um, Countdown to Fall. Applesauce Day. This looks super cute. How to Make an Apple Pie and See the World, another one that was on a lot of book lists that I saw this year. Because of an Acorn, Fletcher and the Falling Leaves, which looks so cute. Um, why do cha leaves change color? Why do leaves change color? <laughs> if I could talk. Um, and the Busy Little Squirrel, also super cute. Charlotte and I read this one already together. Um, okay, so that is the picture book list. Um, she also includes an entire, um, let me make sure that it's showing everything. Uh, she in includes an entire list uh, for crafts and activities and then for baking. We have a memory verse. Here, let me move this little pumpkin because he's in my way. Um, so you're going to memorize this over the course of the um, guide. And then she's got four weeks of uh, very detailed plans here. So um, her plans are so easy to follow, you guys. I am doing a different guide of hers, the summer one right now with my kids. We meant to do it over the summer and didn't finish it, so we're finishing it now. But um, I love the way she's got all of these laid out. So she, um, in previous guides, has had other devotional books, but she has written a devotion for every single lesson in this one, which I'm really excited to read with my kids. And then there's also an activity for every single day. So there's a picture book, um, a verse to do, a devotion, um, a learning activity, and then um, a doing thing is what she has on here. But it's a it's either a craft or a recipe. And I'm just gonna tell you guys that I will not be doing every single thing that is listed in this book. So do not feel like you have to do all of those things to make this successful. It's just um, an extra fun um, thing for you to do with your kids if you would like. So um, my kids are a little bit old for these particular things. Um, Charlotte might like to do some of them, um, but like as far as letter formation we know how to do all of those things so we're just gonna skip that part but she might enjoy a few of the things though um, this looks really fun make a squirrel buffet and it's like basically like using an egg carton and filling it up with all these little snacks so yummy okay so I won't show you every single thing um, but there's some art um, some cookies there's this fun symmetry drawing um, and for instance, this is a thing that Charlotte would enjoy doing. Um, so week two is apples. 
What was week one? I don't remember. I don't remember if I said. You guys, it's been that kind of a week. Okay, just hello autumn, I think. Oh, F is for fall. That is what week one is. A is for apple. Um, again, I don't want to like show you all of it because maybe then it would cause you to not want to buy it, but um, <laughs> P is for pumpkin. It's probably in the table of con contents, but the guide is just so pretty. Um, and then all of my kids will love this. H is for harvest. Um, again, there's really fun activities in here. There's recipes that I'm excited to make. Um, a nature scavenger hunt. My kids are going to love that. So, um, so it's four weeks. Every day has a devotion. Every day has an activity. Every day, um, you're going to be building connection with your kids over something that's really simple and easy to use. So that is the Simple Autumn Guide. She also has, I think I have it right here next to me. Okay, she also has a Thanksgiving unit study guide and I think a Reformation Day one, which is an alternative for Halloween. Um, if I'm not mistaken, she has a bundle with all three that will save you a little bit of money if you want all three of them, but you can buy any of them. You can buy them as a download where you just print them yourself, which is what I did with this Thanksgiving one, but I will say that the printing is so nice. Um, the way that it is all laid out and the way that she's got it bound and everything is so nice that I wish that I had not bought this one um, as a digital download. Um, I wish I would have just gotten the printed version. So um, it ships really fast to you guys. So she'll get it to you really quickly. Um, but the Thanksgiving study we did as a whole family, Tim included, and it just was wonderful. And we are going to do it all again um, this Thanksgiving as well. So that is what we're going to be doing for the devotional uh, portion of our morning time this fall. I hope uh, that was informative to you guys. I really hope that um, I did justice to what I consider to be a hidden gem in the homeschool community. Um, these guides have just been wonderful for my family and I hope that they will be for yours as well. Don't forget that um, if you click the link in the description box, um, it really helps me out just so that they can track where your orders come from. Um, and if you're looking for a free way to support my channel, um, go ahead and click the thumbs up button. If you don't subscribe, we would love for you to subscribe to our channel. Um, and we will see you in our next video. Okay. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching all the way to the end. Um, so I... I was like, maybe I'm just gonna end this video, you know, at, at the end of the video instead of <laughs> um, coming back on and saying something funny because I could not think for the life of me of something funny that happened this week. To be honest, it was kind of a bummer of a week. Um, not for any like specific reason, I just, I struggle a lot with mood things and so I just had a, a down week and um I try to be like okay with sharing that kind of stuff it does make me feel weird but um anyway I had a really down anxious week and it was really hard for me to come up with something even like good to to share <laughs> although you know like as I looked back over the week I was like there are so many good things um, but I am just gonna, okay, so my second grader, Charlotte, she's seven, um, she has been kind of a struggling reader. Charlotte is reading, um, but she has struggled for the entire, like, last year or so. Um, we had a really hard time with some, uh, self-doubt <laughs> on my part last year, um, with with an influence in our lives and um it wasn't anybody who's related to me so it just 
you know, it's it's somebody who do, who's not in our lives currently. So, um, and there was a lot of pressure put on this poor child to perform last year, and I tried so hard to remove that pressure from her, and I did everything that I could. It was it was having to do with our school. Um, anyway, the end of the school year happened. The last day happened. The kid kept getting told that she could not read. Not by me, by somebody else. Um, and the day after school officially ended, she started picking up chapter books and reading them. Now, she needs help still. Um, she's only seven. I and our new, our, this year is so much better so for, for a myriad of reasons. So don't, you know, like, I don't really, I'm not looking for advice or anything. I mean, you can give it to me. I will, <laughs> I will receive that. But, um, the reason I'm saying all this is not to look for advice, but I am going to show some clips of, uh, sorry if I'm shaking the camera. It's like wobbly a little bit, I think. Um, I'm going to show you guys some clips of Charlotte reading this week. And, um, I just, I, it, she is silly and funny and expressive and wonderful. Um, so I really, in the midst of everything that was going on with me this week, did take a minute and look at each of my kids just so I could be thankful for them. And I would encourage you guys to do that as well. Um, but here is my sweet little Charlotte girl, um, being so silly and funny, reading a chapter in her Billy B. Brown book. The Deep End. Billy B. Brown. Just read it. As is... Billy's class is today. Billy's class is having heaven. Good job. Mm -hmm. 